Hey guys, it's Justin from the Ecstasy er, Gaming Channel, and uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to use gate signs with uh, the Craft Bucket plugin. Um, I'll, this can be used for many things. I've seen it used for like jails and stuff, but uh, it's pretty simple once you understand the basics. And um, all you really have to do is put a fence block at any joint along the wall. For example, uh, this one has it right there, and then up there, and then right there again. That pretty much lets it know that that's the uh, where the outlines of the gate are going to be. And um, I'll show you later what happens if you don't put them in the joints. Uh, you want to start off by making the frame, and then like I said, putting them in the joints. I just made a simple 4x4 four four square here. And uh, actually it's 4x3, but it's not the point. <laughs> Um, you can put a sign for the gate up to the third block away, and uh, then you just go to the second line and you p type in brackets uh, gate, and it's as simple as that. You right click it, and the gate goes down. You right click it, it goes back up. That's pretty simple, and that's the uh, same thing with this, if it would like to work. Um, Oops, I accidentally put it on the first line. Okay. And then when it goes back up, it'll be the same thing. But uh, if you were to remove one of these, like so, and then use it, it would not put them in that line right there, which is why you just want it down. I'm not sure what the max size for a gate would have to be. Um... I'm sure that's an easy number to find anyway, but uh, and like length and height. But yeah, uh, that'll conclude this video. Um, I actually made this because somebody on the forums was asking about it on the server I play on, and I figured, why not? See ya.